I'm Carlos Gonzalez from Tate's Gaming, and I, today I want to talk about my hero deck. And thanks to the fine folks of Team Relinquish for letting me do a deck profile. So let's get started on the way. So here I have a 40 card deck and my 15 card extra deck. So we'll start with the deck. So for the opening, Shadow Miss, because as you know, Shadow Miss is a boss. She is amazing. Search abilities, you know the truth. Two bubble mans. Now, if you're probably if you're probably wondering why I don't run three like most players do, because I'm not like most players. Fuck them. <laughs> Secondly, two aliases, just because I do need that extra little bit of attack power. Two Goblin Birds, as you know, as you know how good Goblin Bird is with Shadow Mist or any of these other guys for the exceeding, for the extra exceeding I have, which I'll show off in a moment. Two Summoner Monks, pretty self explanatory. And then we got the Wild Card Bunch. One Ocean, just for Mass, <laughs> for Mass Hero Acid. One Voltic, just for more feet, for more support out of the game. Neo uh, Neo oh you know you know that, and probably the weirdest pick of all, <laughs> Tsuki Knight, just because just because I decided to tech something in and not not use Thunder King anymore. <laughs> so on to the next. How many monsters was that? That will be a grand total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 monsters. <laughs> Next for spells. Three mass changes. Two e-calls. And two rotas. Why were your choices two and two for a rota and e-call? Um, I have way too much search capabilities, that's the problem. So I took away the third I took away the third E and the third reinforcements just so that I can make sure that I have space for something else. So now I got two two MSTs. I wanna get a third one, but I haven't found anyone with a platinum gold. Yeah, I'm that much of a rarity for people. <laughs> Two mass charges, because we know how amazing they are. Two miracle fusions. One mass change second, which I'm gonna put that right next to mass change. Yeah, look at this. You look so comfortable there. And next we have one Book of Moon, one Mind Control, one Raigeki, and one Dark Hole. Uh, why no Hero Lives? Um, with the amount of special summoning and searching I can do, I don't really have to use a Hero Lives, although I do have the option to throw it in. I mean, I still have a Hero Lives in my box, <laughs> along with all the other cards that people keep telling me I should put in. But I wanted to make a different deck. I wanted to have something that's far from like what people use in tournaments. I've seen the Japanese and American deck list, they have like three of Hero Lives. Like, that's a huge freaking life point cost right there. <laughs> So, on to the next, the trap side. Oh wait, I always gotta remember, count up the cards. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 spells. Almost half of the deck is spells. Okay. So, and the cards, last little so bit. Card tracks. Like, yeah, so cards like Anti-Spell Fragrance can screw me over, <laughs> or Spell Canceler, but... Now on to the traps. First things first, one Ring of Destruction, one Compulse, uh, probably one of the weirdest choices I can have right here, but it's because I have four Dark Monsters with less than a thousand, a Crush card. Ooh, I, yeah, I just pick it up for 12 bucks right now, people. Yep, before it goes up in price. That one solid Heard warning. Here first. Yeah, this is this is also another reason why I don't have a hero live because I do want to keep a little light point count. <laughs> Two call of the haunteds. Normally I use three, but with all these new traps and the ban lists, I decided to switch things up. And for the weirdest of all, two royal decrees because sometimes because sometimes it's better to have to be in a no trap zone than anything else. Especially when you play against the Telenites, ritual beasts, any deck that's really trap heavy. Oh my god, man, don't get me started. Don't get me started on some Teller Knights. Uh, wait, wait for World Superstars, people. World Superstars is the Teller Knights. Yep, and now, Star Serves. Oh, and let's count up here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Now let's move so along to the extra deck. 40 cards of the deck right there. Now for the extra deck. First things first, two Dark Walls. Now, self explanatory. One Koga. Koga is pretty damn good. She. Oh, well, it's a he. I love his ability. I love that whole take away attack ability that I can just use on either player, sir. Because it could do. It could be a game changer. One acid. Because hey, I am sick and I need a harpy's feather duster. <laughs> uh, that back Everyone would be scary. loves a field white. <laughs> that back row would be scary. One Anki. Make sure you pick him up too, because he's at like five bucks online. We got absolute zero and shiny. Two other pre self explanatory cards. <laughs> Um, apparently the, apparently someone in the back, you cannot see him right now, is just giving me the middle finger as soon as I said absolute zero. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, I get, you see how much people hate absolute zero people? Just use them, just use them as much as you can. Now for the two other wild cards of this. Core. Now, most people, now most people don't really play core because you need three elemental heroes to call them out, but with the setup you have in a hero deck, you can get you can fill up the graveyard for a miracle fusion. Next would be contrast hero chaos. So you can get him straight out of destruction deck right now, or like two bucks. And since he's always treated as an elemental hero, you can go into a miracle fusion with him like immediately. And now these are all the fusions. That is nine. That, that is nine cards right there for fusion. Now for the exceeds, we have a cowboy because I need like cowboy always does that chip damage. Cowboy anybody, wins games. For anybody who for anybody who plays fighting games, you understand chip damage. One Lavalvo chain. I did, I did not have the money to afford the nice looking one, so I got a gold one. Don't judge me. Still looks good. Doesn't Still work. Looks good. One evil swarm exiton knight. You know why? <laughs> no, so no. It's Field nuke. Everybody loves it. One castell. Not as not as powerful. Not as powerful with its attack, but it's got a pretty damn good effect. Just, like put him face down or send him straight to the deck. One heroic, one heroic champion Excalibur. I'm looking for a ghost rare. If anyone's got one, I'll you know if you come by the Tates, I'll tr I'll happily trade with you. And one dark rebellion because because this is amazing. And yes, I did I did pull this ghost rare out of a box. And that is six that is six exceeds and nine fusions for a grand total of 15 cards in the extra deck. And well, that's pretty much my build for my hero deck. I'm Carlos Gonzalez from Tinks Gaming. Thank you very much. Have a good day, folks.